Good morning. This morning has been quite a day. The minute I got up, my little feet have just been running. Uh, and the reason, uh, I'm going to show you my whisper mill. I'm going to make bread this morning. And it has to be running to grind the my grain. And I don't want to turn it on because it's too noisy. But uh, this is spelt. And I don't like to uh, grind it until I really am making bread. Because once it grain gets oxidized... I mean broken open, it oxidizes and loses its nutrition pretty fast. So that's what I'm doing. I've had this for about 17, 18 years. I've had to replace the top once. And um, I should show you in my crock now what I have. I have cabbage, beets, um, I don't know. I, what else besides that but I put in uh, juniper and pepper and one other thing not coriander but juniper and pepper for the spice which I like the juniper but I really like the coriander better so I, I miss the coriander in here and pretty soon the next batch will be green cabbage red cabbage maybe some beets I'm not sure and apples so that's where I am this morning. Well, I've made the bread, and the bread's been about eaten. It wasn't a very big loaf, but it's very nice. And then I also wanted to share, the other day or you saw that I made some beans. Well, they turned out really well, so I decided to make, I, I'm not going to call these chili beans, but it has hamburger and tomato sauce and peppers and spices and onions and all of that, uh, even a little bit of carrots with them. And, but they're not like chili beans because um, I have to be careful with anything that's hot for Tom. But I want to say, and they're very good, we did eat a jar already, but another mistake that I made, I should have made quartz in these. Now just the straight beans, I think the pint will be fine. But um, I think it would have been nice to have had a little more. So when I make like a meal in a jar, I'm going to go a quart from now on. So I just wanted to add that. And I never did say why my feet were running, running. Well, we let the chickens run loose. I've tried to cover my little garden out there. Well... <laughs> Evidently not too well because they got into my peas that were just about ready to bloom and I'm not sure if they're going to recover from the chickens so they may have had a really good meal. I don't really want to lock them up. I want to figure out how to protect the garden and still have them out. The egg yolk color is just so tremendous that... Uh, I just, and, and I like them out there. So, I mean, I've got to figure out what I really cherish the most. Uh, so, but Tom is very clever and he's out there trying to figure out how I can have a garden and my chickens too. So, I will let you go and you have a good day.